hunting season's just around the corner, so I'm gonna start making some videos that have a little more of a focus on hunting. And in this short video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make pine sap glue. The pine sap glue was very important in ancient times. People used it for mounting knife blades into handles and also for hafting stone arrow points to the tips of their arrows. It's essentially a natural hot melt glue. And when made correctly, it works really well and is incredibly strong. So let's get started and collect some pine sap. Pine trees are common in many parts of the country and all of them produce varying amounts of sap. Injuries to the bark will ooze a sticky, gummy sap that makes perfect glue. I avoid sap that's old and dry because it's too brittle and too weak to be made into good glue. Fresh sap that's sticky and gummy is the best and makes excellent glue. Collect the fresh sap using a sturdy stick and put it into an empty metal can. To process the sap into glue, start a small fire and then let it burn down to coals. Place the can on the coals and slowly heat the sap until it liquefies. Don't let the sap boil, otherwise a natural turpentine will be burned off and the glue will become brittle and weak. As a word of caution, pine sap is also very flammable, so don't allow it to ignite because it burns like gasoline. As the sap liquefies, periodically stir it so the liquefied portions in the bottom of the can are mixed around and not overcooked. Fresh sap is too sticky to be used as is, so it needs a temper added to increase its strength and make it hard when it cools. Finely crushed charcoal is most commonly used in prehistory, though dry rabbit droppings like these can also be crushed and added as well. The partially digested vegetable fibers make an excellent temper, as well as increase the glue's strength. Here I'm using charcoal. I crush it into a fine powder with a round stone. Then add it to the sap and stir it until it's thoroughly mixed. Don't add too much temper, otherwise the glue will become brittle and weak. The finished glue can then be globbed onto the end of a stick to create a glue stick that can be used for years. So there's the finished glue stick. And this was uh, part of every prehistoric hunter's toolkit. Now when you make this stuff, you want to be sure that it's hard when it dries, but you don't want it to be so hard and brittle that it, that it cracks and breaks. You want to be able to dent it a little bit with your fingernail at room temperature when it's cool. That's the perfect consistency for this glue because you want it to have a little bit of give. Uh, when you use it for hafting arrow points, you want it to be able to, to move a little bit if when that arrow strikes the target. Now, um, to use this stuff, you can either keep it in the can um, or you can make a glue stick like this. Personally, I prefer the glue stick. It just makes it a whole lot easier to apply this stuff. And if you have it in the can, you've got to heat up the entire can of glue just to get a little bit out to haft an arrow point. So this glue stick method makes it a whole lot quicker and easier and cleaner. Now to use this stuff, you essentially just heat it up over a fire and apply some into the notch and then while it's still soft you put your arrow point into the notch of your arrow and make sure that it's aligned with the rest of the shaft and then once it's set I put it back into the flame into the heat and very carefully and slowly heat that stone point up to reliquify this glue one more time that will cause it to run and it'll fill in all the gaps and make an incredibly strong bond then you just wrap the point on with chewed sinew let it dry and your haft is finished and I think you guys are going to be impressed with how strong and how durable this well-made pine sap glue really is. And I hope you guys enjoy using a natural alternative to our modern glues. <laughs> 